तुलसी सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद्वंदम भक्तबिंद समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्रीनंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदन मनोहर वाछा कल्पतरुवश के पास सिंधु भविष्य पतितान पावने वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचाल पंगुंगलंगतगिरी यत्की पातमहंग वंदे परमानंदमाधव बिंदा वै तुलसीदेव तो वै पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती वैस तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदरुण धैय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भेत्ताहम पुनतपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुषते चरुणरविंद यत्दपल्लवनखचंदमनीछटा विस्फुजीत कमी गोवधूषुवदर्शि पूर्णागर सागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयि कदा कि श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्रीअत गाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्रीअत गाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनुका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितरो कमला यथाक्ष विशाम बरो द्विज बरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा बतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तब पाद पंकज सुरासुरबंदी तो दिव्यूप भुक्ति मुक्ति तदा भावान्ण सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीयटा कलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषी तबाम भाग नारायणो प्रियमनंग मदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज भी सनाथ वागीशुस्वदने लक्ष्मीजस च भक्षसी जैस्यास्त हृदय संवीत निशिंगमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 
जन्मादस्य जतो अन्वयाद इतरश्चार्थ सभीज्ञ सराट तेने ब्रह्म हृदय आदि कवये मुह्यन्ति यत्सूरय तेजो बारी मिदाम जथा विनिमयुति सर्गहम मिसा धन्ना सेन सदा निरस्तकुहकम सत्यम परम धीमहि गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपाल परमंस जगदगुरु से शिला वैसदेव गोस्वामी इनवाइटिंग होल वर्ल्ड यू ऑल कैन कम वी टुगेदर कैन प्रे एंड टू अवर रोड स्वीट ऑफ भगवान वी कैन प्रे सो दैट ही कैन बेस्ट हो कम्प्लीट मर्सी ऑन आस गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपाल परमंश जगत गुरु सहित है वैसेदेव गोस्वामी होल हार्टेडली इन्वाइटिंग एवरीबॉडी यू ऑल ज्वाइन आस वी कैन ऑल टुगेदर प्रे एंड टू द लोड ऑफ स्वीट ऑफ दैट एप्सिल्यूट ट्रूथ वी कैन प्रे सो दैट ही इज बाउंड टू बेस्ट टू कीप ऑन आस देर इज नो देर इज नो पार्टिकुलर नथिंग वी ऑल कॉमन यू ऑल एवरीबॉडी शुड कम यन्मादस्सु यतो अन्मयाद इतरतश्चार्थे सुस्वीघस्वराट टू बी फ्रैंक दिस फास्ट श्लोका ऑफ श्रीमद भागवत जी महापुराण इन साइड दिस भागवत जी महापुराण फास्ट श्लोक होल भागवतम देयर इज इन जिस्ट इन शीट फॉर्म लाइक नून टाइम हिंदी कथा आई वॉज स्पीकिंग चतुश्लोकी भागवत Four slokas of Bhagavat. You see four slok, but within within which all the mystery of Bhagavatam is in the form of seed. That's why the first slok, I mean the first canto of Simad Bhagavatam, first slok speaking, "Yanma dasu yatu anmayad itaratas swarthi su savigya swarat." Ten Brahma hida yo adi kavay mayanti yat surayo. If we don't understand at least the first log of Bhagavatam, we cannot enter into about the discussion between Mahaprabhu and Sarvam Bhattacharya. Yanmo adi asho kasho bishasho, all whole creation, all this you know manifestation, all janmo adi janmo means creation, maintenance and destruction, all. मेन्टेन बै भगवान ऑल डान बै भगवान जन्म आदि अस्व समाइम डायरेक्टली इतरतश्चार्थेशु समाइम डायरेक्टली समाइम इनडायरेक्टली ऑल गोइंग ऑन एंड हु इज हिमसेल्फ नोइंग एवरीथिंग यू नीड नॉट गेव गिव एनी इन्फॉर्मेशन टू हिम भगवान दिस इज हैपनिंग देयर यू नो इट नॉट देयर Everywhere, noon time I'm speaking. Everywhere, every dust particle all over the universe, wherever, whatever changes going on, who is doing what, at a time simultaneously, Bhagwan knows. Strange. You cannot even imagine. Each and every dust particle of the world, Bhagwan have information and know everything. What is going on? This is the fallacy. That is a great, our observable object, Bhagwan, who is so great, at the same time so humble, that he like to catch the lotus feet of devotee. Give me, give me your dust particle. Bhagwan, he is supreme Lord. He is going to wash the lotus feet of Sita Maa Bhipro. Give me the dust, drinking water, Mahaprabhu. Can you imagine? And we. Are all his fools of false? Whereas he is supreme Lord, infinity world, like dust particle, full running. But still he is having so much humble attitude. I am nothing, but we are full of false. This is the difference between Bhagwan and us. So simultaneously at a time, Bhagwan can know everything, infinity world, where what is happening. 
all at a time information is there, knowing everything. Follow. This is the point. You need not give any information. If at all Bhagavan doing this kind of Leela, if Bhagavan playing this kind of Leela, this is strange. Like Bhagavan asking to Uddhav, Uddhav, there is so many problems, you see. Jarathams are making problem, and at the same time, Sishubal also making problem. Problem, Judhishti is now alone, what to do, I don't know. What you suggest, you please advise me what to do. Bhagavan asking advice. Bhagavan asking advice to Uddhav. Uddhav, in this situation, what I should do? You just please give me a, Uddhav is minister. Uddhav is minister giving advice. This is Bhagavan. One kind of Leela. Uddhavji Maharaj, after Bhagavan gone, Uddhavji Maharaj blasted into tears and speaking. That Bhagavan is, oh, I cannot imagine even. Sometimes used to call Uddhav, come, I have some personal discussion with you. After that, asking. That Bhagavan wanted to make fool of me. Leela. So, Yanma the su yatu anmayat itaratas chwarthe su savigya sarat, who is having self knowledge. Savigya sarat. Sarat means he can never be controlled. He is under his own control. No father, no boss there to control him. Sarat. What he can will power. What Bhagavan wants, that is going to happen. Willpower, Sarat, nobody is going to control him. But still, at the same time, he is not controlled by anyone. But still, he is under the control of devotee. Fallacy. Aham bhakta paradhino hi asatantra ivo dijo. Bhagavan speaking, I am not uh, free. I am under the control of devotee. You see. We know that he is in Sarat. Super power. Infinity world running. At the same time, speaking, I am under. Actually, I am under the control of devotee. What devotee doing? That I like. That strange. That is a sweet nature. That is a very sweet nature of Bhagavan. We cannot realize. That's why you cannot do bhajan. The moment Guru Maharaj used to say, the moment you can realize who is Bhagavan. You can cry, you can go mad to meet with him. Bad luck. We don't know who is Bhagavan. Who is Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? We don't know. That's why we are less interested to Bhajan. That moment we can realize, we can go mad. We cannot stay. We can throw everything and go and embrace Bhagavan. That is the nature. So the first look speaking, all the mystery of Bhagavatam. Yanmadasyatu and Mayad Itaratas Chvartesu Swavigya Swarat. Tene Tene mean by him. Brahma was taught or Brahma was given knowledge, transcendental knowledge or practice. Tene Brahma Hida Yo Kavaye Kavaye Mayanti. Tene Brahma Hida Yo Adi Kavaye Mayanti Yasurayo. That Bhagavan wanted to inculcate, wanted to transfer all knowledge of Prakidukan inside the heart of Brahma. Not only dry knowledge, practically, with feeling, wanted to give. And about this Tattva of Bhagavan, about when somebody is going to think about Bhagavan, who Bhagavan is, how Bhagavan is. Then even Rishimuni. They are put into perplexing conditions. Or maybe this is. Oh, no, 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 this. All fighting. Among Rishi Muni, among Pandit, all altered fighting going on. Nobody can speak surely that this is the condition. Bhagavan can make full of you anytime. Anytime. Bhagavan can make full of you. Any Pandit. Nobody can. Tene Brahmahida Ya Adi Kavai Mayhanti Ya Surayo. Surayo mean literal meaning literal meaning of Surayo is demigods. Those who are staying in heaven. 
Sur are you? Sur means Devuta. Devuta. Those who are staying in heaven. But here Surayo, literal meaning we cannot accept. Here Surayo means those who are Dibba Shuri, those who are having vast knowledge, experience. They are about past, present, and future, they can realize. Mayanti or Surayo. And Teyo, ma, teyo Vari Midam Yatha Binimayu Tisharagaham Risha. Dhanna seno sada nirasta kuhakam satyam param dhimahi. Follow. By the magic spell of this Bhagavan, by the magic spell of this Bhagavan, you can find some fallacy. I was explaining Chatusloki Bhagavat. Chatusloki Bhagavat. I was speaking. Noon time in Chaitanya Chaitamita Vaksha. So, what I mean to say? Tejo Bari Midam. There is some Teja Tattva. Tejo, Tejo, fire Tattva. But you can find water. Tejo Bari Midam Yatha Binimayo. Sometimes some fallacy can happen. In the sand, hot, we can find water there. We go there, no water. Tejo, Bari, Medam. Medam means sand or art. Sand or Bari means water. Tejo means sun. Some certain kind of philo I mean, a fallacy develop. Miracle. Mahirej is called. That is developing from Bhagavan. This way, Man, all human beings, even not human beings, those who deserve, those who deserve, we are great Pandit, we know everything, Shastra, they become in, they become in a very bad condition, fallacy. They cannot understand, cannot take any decision. This is called Absolute Tattva. And that Absolute Tattva Basdev Goswami is speaking, why not, why not you all come, why not you all come, we, I invite you all. You all are invited. There is no party color, there is no politics, nothing. There is no, you know, partiality. We openly invite you all, you all come. We can all together call, we can pray to that because Together, prayer has some special power. When all devotee having all same like-minded devotee, if you like to test this, you can do it. If you like to test, suppose two, five, ten devotees, all same, like-minded, all the one Bhagavan, all in a room, you go on doing chanting, kirtan, you can speak special power. Bhagavan is bound to hear it. One example I can see, one father, before leaving body, wanted to give the final teachings to his sons. A ten or twelve sons, or so many sons there. They are always there, say, infighting, these, that. So father, give, before leaving, wanted to, wanted to teach them one teachings. Father speaking, my son, you all come to me. I have my last, uh, you know, because I am going to leave my body. Well, then he is speaking to the younger son. You bring one stick, very small stick. Stick, one stick. You bring one stick. And you can break the stick. You can break the stick. You take it, break the stick. Another son, you give stick, one stick. You break the stick, break. Then after that you turn, you bring at least 20 or 25 sticks at a time. Then all 25 sticks, one by one, men's size is there. Now say, uh, anyone you can break, any one of you can break this 20, 20 stick at a time. They are trying, no breath. 20 or 25 sticks at a time, none of them able to break. Then father giving the last advice, my son, when you can together stay, 
nobody can do any harm to you. If you are individually you are doing, now this is the condition of our bhajan field. Our whole, all over the world, this is the condition, poor condition of our bhajan. Everybody has some center point. Everybody is going to maintain one center point. There is no common point. Isolated from Guru Varga. Never mind. Excuse me. It is a fact. Everybody having some personal separate point. They cannot coincide with the center point shown by Prabhupada. All separate center point. That's why so many problems coming. We cannot do bhajan. Very useless bhajan. It's not bhajan. Bhajan means? If you do bhajan, Bhagavan is bound to give response. That's called bhajan. I am doing bhajan for thousands of years, no response on the part of... What is this? Can it so happen? I am doing bhajan, no response I am getting, getting from Guru Varga, Prabhupada, uh, Guru Varga. How it can so happen? Whereas they are so merciful, they like to give response, they are waiting. They are waiting to give response immediately. But we are not getting... Because we are not... Reconciled with him. All over the world, all almost all scientists, they are sure about all philosopher, all scientists, they are sure about one point. Newton or Hans, everybody, who not? Anderson, everybody they are sure about one single point that we think this past universe has some center point. They realize, surely there is some center point. All cosmic creation, there is surely some center point, I mean common point. Surely there is some common point. And there is some rhythm. There is some rhythm, like dancing, no? A rhythm, this creation. Winter gone, spring coming, after that, summer, what kind of, one kind of rhythm there? They already noticed it. They are watching. They see whole world is as if there is some sweet rhythm. There is some sweet rhythm there. We are sure there is some sense of center point. But they cannot understand properly. But they realize what our Rishimuni, what our Guru Varga, all wanted to point out directly, this is the center point. And our bhajan is nothing but to reconcile our individual personal point with the common center point. Follow it. Bhajan means we'll, you have your center point, personal point, you have your pers all center point when we can go uh, gradually and coincide with the center point, common center point of the universe. That is called success. But we cannot do it. We have a personal desire, personal desire, everything. That's why we are failure to do it. All fighting. But a pure sadhu can never think about anything. You cannot understand. They are hard. You think maybe they are all same. No. They are not same. They are always in the line with our parampara, Guru Varga. Any individual, any individual decision taken by any Acharya, anything, he is totally isolated from the, from the track, deviated. Bhakti Mahatma Road. Bhakti Mahatma Road is totally deviated. And those who are following him, they also can get. And the way newly invented, that also can get destroyed. He can also get destroyed. And those who are following him, they can also get destroyed. They cannot survive. Bhakti Mantagur only forecast. There is some universal administration all over the cosmic world, infinity world. There is some common administrative rules that you cannot feel. So much busy. Our, our thinking power is so localized. We, our thinking power is so localized, we are centering on the, I myself. I myself, my house. But we cannot go out of that. There is some common universal administration. Everybody bound to obey it. 
be it Brahma, Sankar, anybody, they are, they are farther bound to obey. If not bound, not going to obey, and they are going to get punishment. They can get some problem. This is the main thing. So, we should realize this point. Before entering into Vedanta Sutta, I like to remind you, or those who never heard, I like to speak for newly, that there is some common tattva, Ishvara, Jiva, Kal, Karma, follow, Maya. What I say? Ishvara, Jiva, Kal, Karma, Maya. Those are the five, those are the five points. Five points. On the basis of this five point, almost all philosophers, our Ramanuja Charjo, Madhva Charjo, Vishnu Swami, Nimbarka Charjo, who not? Bhaskara Charjo, Sankara Charjo. Everybody, whatever they are thinking, whatever thinking, whatever they are writing, all related to this five tattva. Maybe representation is a little bit different. He is speaking this way. He is speaking, no, 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 this way. But all Ishvara, Jiva, Kal, Karma, Maya. Five. Best, those are the five basic points. Like in our material world, everybody likes to enjoy. But the enjoying, but the, you like to enjoy, no? Everybody likes to enjoy. But they have no idea what do you want to enjoy. If you ask him, he can say, I like to enjoy this. If you ask her, I like to enjoy this. So all different kind of enjoying mood is there. Some or other way. Not directly, maybe indirectly. But enjoying mood must be there. Is there. But what they like to enjoy? If you analytically discuss, you can find Basically, those objects of enjoyment is, uh, is basically Shabdos Parso Rup Ras Gandho. Shabdos Parso Rup Ras Gandho. Five. Those five are the basic thing you, you think any enjoyment, whatever you like. I can show you, I can show you, you like to shop. It is something within this five. Somebody like to hear a nice song, Shabdo. Some like to get a sweet touch, Shabdas Parso, Roop, somebody like to be, they are very interested about watching beautiful, different thing, natural beauty also, natural beauty also, baby. They are running here and there to enjoy their life, different spots are there for tourists, enjoying, they go and enjoy, spend their life. Even under the sea, they like to stay under the sea. Under water, there is hostel, hotel, hotel. Under water, there is hotel, made of, made of glass. You don't know, under water. They are spending billions of dollars to stay one night, two night, enjoy everything you can. Hot water, cold water, food, juice, everything you can get. So everybody is watching fish going on, shark going on under water. You see the mood of enjoyment. Enjoyment is there. So what they like to enjoy? Somebody like to eat nice thing. So this way, sabdas, parsa, this way, everybody, busy with enjoyment. But basically, all enjoyment is related to this thing. Sabdas, parsa, rup, rasgandha. I heard some big, big rich man from Arab, here, there, they are spending two crores, three crores within one night. Eh? I say, one night, two crores, three crores, what they are doing? One crore, two crores, three crores, five crores, ten crores, they one night. And what they are eating? What they are doing? One night only, enjoyment. So you see the condition. People are crazy. People are totally crazy. Eh, yes, you don't, never mind. It's crazy. They don't know. They are now in such a position, they cannot understand what is the meaning of life. 
at least 60 years back or 80 years back, 100 years back, there's at least some we seen, we can see. If you go back, there was so much nice personality. They are not doing bhajan. At least they have some idealism. Materialize that. They're doing some good thing, bad thing. But now, all like cats and dogs. <laughs> no idea, nothing. All like to enjoy. What is this? So, center point, that common center point, you should remember. Now, Sarvam Vata Jajyo, Sarvam Vata Jajyo and Mahaprabhu discussing. Sarvam Vata Jajyo, anyway, somehow, Sarvam Vata Jajyo, somehow, anyway, want to establish impersonal Brahm. Oh, impersonal Brahm. I is written there. You see Upanishad. You see here, there. Mahaprabhu saying, Sarvabhamo, you are so intelligent. You are so learned man. Why not you just apply your common sense? That if Brahma is without any power, impersonal, no, nothing, who fool is going to worship him? Why not you? Who fool is there? He like to worship him? No power, nothing, nothing. No, he cannot be seen, impersonal Brahma, even without any power. No power. Formless, powerless. So who is, who foolish is going to worship that? Who foolish can take initiative to worship it? Because he is formless, powerless, he cannot be seen. Like Jagannath in our Puri. You know Puri Jagannath? Puri Jagannath, no hand, no leg. No hand, no leg. So those who are material beings, no hand, no leg. What is this? Jagannath want to make full of us. That you see, I have no hand, no leg. Better you can go to Kalima, Durga, Ganesh, they can give you. I have no hand. How I can give? Jagannath want to make full of us. Baba speaking. Inside Jagannath, those who are going to take darshan of Jagannath. For them, Jagannath manifesting this kind of no hand, no leg, uh, eyes also round. Peculiar. Why? To make full of us. But Mahaprabhu, when watching Jagannath, what watching? What Kumaji? What Kumaji? The Radha Lingita Bigraha. Kada chit kalindi tata bipino sangit taralo muda viri nari bodhana kamala shada madhupo. This way. Eh? Or Jagannath is playing Bangsi. No hand. How he can play Bangsi? He was speaking all rubbish. Eh? It is there. Bhuje sebya benum, siras sikhi picham katitate, dukulam netrante. This sloka. Jagannath is holding Bangsi. So if there is no hand, how holding Bangsi? Bhuje sebya benum, siras sikhi picham katitate. Sada Simad Bindavana Vasati Lila Parishayo Jagannatu Sami Nayan Patagami Bhavatume. Mahaprabhu watching Jagannath Krishna and with holding Bongsi and inside Bindavan. But whereas you cannot see? Eh, there is a big temple. Okay, there is very nice sculpture there. Nothing you can see. Whereas already it is a thing. Bhuje sabya benum sirus siki picham katitati dukulam netrante sahachara katak balava. This is everything written. Sada asima de binda vanavasati lila parichayo jagannatho sami noyan patagami bhavatu. So, what is the fallacy? Sarvabhomo, you are so intelligent, so educated. Why you cannot think that if Bhagavan is formless? If Bhagavan is no having no power, then who foolish can worship him? You try to think over and again. Sarva Vatajajo saying, no, it is written in Upanishad, Veda, only Brahma. 
Jeevo Brahma Ivo no. Jeevo Brahma Ivo no Paraha. Jeeva is Brahma. Nothing else. All creation, everything Brahma. Without Brahma, there is no second thing. Adhvai Gyan Tattva. But they forget to look Bhagavatam. There is already written, many times we discussed. Badanti Tattva Vidam Sattam Yab Gyanam Addayam Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavaniti Shabdati. That same, which you call Brahma, what you call Paramatma, what you call Ishwar, Bhagavan, all same. Only different name. Somebody can call God, somebody can call Allah, somebody can call something. But all same Tattva. They, without realizing, Without realizing the tattva, unnecessary in fighting take effect. Without realizing this tattva, unnecessary in fighting going on. In fighting. That is also due to the maya of Bhagavan. I told you yesterday that at least, if not more, at least four sloka from Vedanta, for the time being, we can discuss to enter into this matter. I told at least four sloka. First sloka from Bhagavad Ji Mahapran I discussed so that you can realize that whole Bhagavatam is the expansion or expression, complete or expression of this, uh, you know, 18,000 sloka expressed from this Janma Daso. Within this sloka I can show you Shamanda, Abhidya and Prajya. Within the sloka, Samanda is there, Prayan is there, Jamanda Avidyo. Within the sloka, Samanda, Samanda, sense of relationship, Samanda Avidyo, Prayan, already there, secret form. In secret form it is there, Samanda Avidyo, Prayan. But nobody can realize. So, if you open uh, Vedanta, first of all you can find first sloka. Athato Brahma Jigasa. That I already told. Athato Jigasa means I told in our life, if we are not going to develop, we are not going to develop any question from inside ourselves. From inside yourself or ourselves can question come come. This unstable life in front of me, my father gone, mother gone. Younger boy also gone, everybody gone. So this life, what is the meaning of this life? I cannot understand. After that, he can grow some interrogation. It is called self-interrogation or it is called Atma Jigasa, self-inquiry. This is the basic point. Try to remember. This is the most basic point from, here, from where your life can take a turn. This point. Whenever in your life one turning point coming, that means surely you are, surely you are developing some self inquiry. Otherwise, turning point cannot come. Surely, you are thinking, really so. After getting looking, ah, everything. What is the meaning of life? Many such cases. There is where between two countries. One small boy lose everything, father, mother, all gone. One boy, small boy, wandering around. Who can give protection, what heaven? All country, those who are fighting, some country, I don't like to name. For past 15, 20 years fighting, all they are converted into a crematorium ground. Nothing there. All destroyed. But still, I can fight, I can see what a man you are like. I can look, see, this kind of challenging mood. All problem, infinity problem, infinity problem, be it in heaven, anywhere, infinity problem arising from, from one single point. That is called personal pratishtha. If you say jealousy, a jealousy coming from pratishtha. I want pratishtha. I like to I like to prove my supremacy. This way, all five, be it inside family fighting or outside political level, sports level, educational level, 
political level and a bhajan level, all everywhere, same point. All in illusion. All is single point. I like to prove I am superior to you. But a pure devotee, they are bound to speak about the absolute truth, but never they never like to capture one chair of Jagat Guru, this, that. Never. Many sadhu I know. In Vrindavan, one sadhu, topmost Pandit of Vedanta, topmost Pandit of Vedanta. One or two incident I can speak so that you can feel relaxed. All typical tatta, bore again. So, in Vrindavan, one sadhu was there. He was very pand big pandit, but niskinchan. Begging, begging, I know myself, but they, my, by that time, they left body. Big pandit of uh, Bhagavatam, Vedanta, but they are very poor. Niskinchan, torn clothes, this, that, nobody understands. One day, some Vaishnava society took decision to confer one big title to that sadhu. Follow. They are all coming in group and speaking, Maharaj, uh, what for you are all coming? Maharaj, we are coming because we like to confer one big title to you because you are great Pandit of Vedanta. After hearing, he becomes so angry. You idiot, go away from here. Go away from here. Get lost. I am learning, I am speaking Vedanta out of my love. Not to get any title, anything. You want to be dead out from here. They wonder. People want Pratishta. Give me, give me garland. <laughs> but he like to drive away. Our Prabhupada, our Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Gosa, the Prabhupada, he could, he could get all title. Bhagavad Acharya, Vedanta Acharya, whatever. But never took one single line. Only when he was student, a, a little bit, the Saraswati title was given. But no, he could attain all titles. So those who are pure devotee, they can easily collect so many titles, pratishta, everything, but they are less interested. If there is any smell, if there is any smell of desire inside heart, surely he cannot qualify as a speaker of Bhagavatam. First point, you forget. You can you forget, you cannot remember. If he is not going to qualify, I mean, Trinadu will be not there. If he is going to demand some love puja, surely Harikatha cannot dance in his tongue. There is the main example. No question of any fighting. This is the first document. Harikatha surely cannot dance in his tongue because Mahaprabhu told Trinadu Vishnati, this sloka. So, anyway, when you open, uh, Vedanta Sutra book, Vedanta Sutra, you can find the first slok is Athato Brahma Jigasa. After watching the instability of this whole wall, whole creation, no stability. Now is that tomorrow destroyed. Now I find the young man very nice. Tomorrow he will die. He die. How? He die. Suddenly heart attack. Somebody going to get big education from Arizona or here, everywhere, big, big education, very specialist, after coming. Even before coming to country, all different company offering, I can, we can give you this five lakhs per month, gifts of facility. Other company, no, we can offer you this. They are speaking. The man not coming in country, in internet they watch, their, their qualification, their everything. Follow, they are coming back. After coming back, he will have to take decision which company to join. But in the meantime, he meet with some stroke, brain stroke. Brain stroke gone, body crippled, cannot think anything. That same man who is just coming after spending lakhs of rupees, after getting education and qualification, everything. Now, after reaching this country, he is taking decision to join. Which company to join? In the meantime, meet with heart attack or brain stroke, he become. Now my question is that if any company offer to 
is any is any company ready to offer five lakhs rupees to this man who is having brand stock? Eh? Do you think which company can offer money? What for? They can pay money. So this way, all our educational qualification, all life, whatever we are doing, getting all unstable. That's why if somebody is speaking all rubbish, rubbish to me, rubbish, slag language. I never become excited. Somebody become uh, praise me. Sambhava is great. I am not going to pay attention. They can speak me anything about me, but I know myself what I am, or a foolish I am. So there uh, any title, there any appreciation, or any rubbish, rubbish thing they can speak, but it it should not touch my heart. There is a condition. It should not touch my heart. Somebody can, can speak, uh, somebody is genius, somebody can, somebody can this, eh? somebody can say genius, somebody can say idiot, beast. But you can say beast. So all same. All same, because I have no expectation for any glorification, honor, position, money, nothing. Any seva going on, if somebody likes to do, okay, it's seva we can do. All together we can do. That is separate thing. But otherwise, so, Yanma the Su Yatu, this sloka, you discussed. After that, have grow some uh, preliminary realization. Now, Athato Brahma Jigasa. Athato Brahma Jigasa is the first, first sutra. First sutra formula of Vedanta. Athato Brahmaji. Athato Brahmaji does mean after watching the uh, whole Krishna unstable, after realizing them, then you can uh, develop some inquiry. Athato Brahmaji Gasa. And Athato Brahmaji Gasa, I told Athato Brahmaji Gasa mean Athato Shabda Jigasa. Athato Atma Jigasa. All same. Athato Brahma Jigasa is equal to Athato Tattva Jigasa, Athato Shabda Jigasa. I already told one mantra from uh, Brahma Khanda. Anadhi Nidhanam Brahma Shabda Tattham Yadaksharam Nivartate Artha Bhavena Pakriya Yagatu Yataha. Hey? I already told. Anadi Nidanam Brahmo, infinity period, for infinity period, that Brahmo is there in his own glorification. You are glorifying, that is your privilege. But Brahmo is there in own position. Excellent. Anadi Nidanam Brahmo, that can be that can be called Shabda Tattam Yadaksharam. So document. Anadi Nidanam Brahma, that can be said as Shabda Tattam Jadaksharam. Yes, speaking, Shabda Tattva. I mean, Athato Brahma Jigasa means Shabda Jigasa. Shabda Jigasa. So, by the magic spell of that Brahma, all creation, destruction, maintenance going on. All going on. How going on? Who can understand? Who can understand? Our lifespan is very short. Maybe 60, 70 years we are going to live maximum. What we can realize? What we can realize? With? So, Anadi Nidanam Brahmo Shabda Tatyam Jadaksharam Nivartate Artho Bhaveno Pakriya Jagatu All the reaction taking place all around infinity world. Cosmic world, you can go. Some star, planet, there is some reaction going on. They are changing their position or they are expanding. I heard this uh, cosmic world is expanding. Strange. This teeny brain, how far can think? It means teeny brain, how long? So it is very good to submit unto the lotus feet of that Tata. But Sarvamata Jajo, not at all ready. So first of all, I told, 
যে ফার্স্ট তত্ত্ব বেদান্ত অথাত অথাত ব্রহ্ম জিজ্ঞাসা সেকেন্ড শ্লোকা জন্মা দসু ইয়ত বাস ফিনিশ হোয়ার আই স্পিক ফ্রম ভাগবত ফার্স্ট ফার্স্ট ক্যান টু ফার্স্ট শ্লোক জন্মা দসু ইয়ত অন্মেয়াদ ইতর তস্বার্থেষু সবিজ্ঞ সরাট তেনে ব্রহ্ম অল বাট হিয়ে ইন বেদান্ত শুধু অনলি টু ওয়ার্ড ইয়ানমা দসু ইয়ত ব্যাসার বলে নাও হু ক্যান রিয়ালাইজ who is having direct connection with bhagavan they can realize what is the meaning other people they cannot yanma dasu jatu only two or three word what is meaning one kind of riddle you know riddle sometimes you get those say riddle what is the meaning they can they are thinking in newspaper here there you can find some riddle if you solve it riddle 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 mean and there is complicity you will have to solve there is some indication you cannot understand your brain not working the intelligent you will have to think out it's called riddle eh ah, in newspaper also you can find some so you can solve this problem solve this problem so after that you can find athato brahma jigasa you can find what second shlok yan mata sujat yanma dasu yato already i discuss uh, by now you understand by the power of that supreme personality all destruction creation maintenance is all going on yanma dasu yato all in detail it will take long time so i like to confine my i like to confine my discussion with this within this range athato brahma jigyasa after that yanma dasu yato ओके आफ्टर दैट थर्ड श्लोक थर्ड श्लोक व्हाट व्हाट इज द थर्ड श्लोक शास्त्रो जनित्वात शास्त्रो जनिस्वात व्हाट डू मीन व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ शास्त्रो जनित्वात शास्त्रो जनित्व ओनली शास्त्रो जनित्वात टू और थ्री व्हाट ओनली टू व्हाट यू विल हैव टू depend upon the kipa of babasa deva if you personally fight with the so oh miss maybe this is the meaning can not understand oh maybe this is the meaning you cannot understand you cannot understand shastro janitvat what you can understand shastro janitvat mean the way the way to have the knowledge about bhagwan is shastra that that also when coming out from the lotus mouth of sadhu now you clear shastra janitvat i mean the source on which you should depend that is only shastra the source on which you can depend you must depend that is called shastra and that also not individual effort the shastra also when sadhu speaking you can hear so shastra janitvat bhagwan can be realized by the help of hari katha i mean shastra hearing but that hari katha should come from a right source right source follow right source mean those were established in acharan tatha realize so so now you understand in short i am going to speak in short very short shastro janitvat mean by the help of shastra the only way mentally concocted idea if i like mad suppose suppose you are going to put one gauranga big go molten gold in africa forest one example i can give suppose sir, suppose you are taking one uh, golden vigraha of gauranga so nice in amazon forest or africa forest you are going those tribals they are looking what is this hey you that's what is this they cannot understand they cannot know what is this maybe on part puppet they can play so to realize that so to realize what is that deity gauranga 
You will have to depend upon some sadhu who can give you idea through Shastra. This is Gauranga. By watching the lady. What is this? Huh? They can play. On tribal or any unknown person. What is this? Follow what he say. That is why you will have to depend upon Shastra. No other way. Even when Arjun wanted to speak to, wanted to, even Arjun when wanted to ask to Krishna, Krishna, what to do, what not to do, how I can realize? Everybody is saying, bah, 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 you do this way, that way. Bhagavan says, you need not speak anything. Tasmat sastra pamanante karya karyo vyavasthito. What to do, what not to do, all you will have to consult Shastra. What Shastra speaking, all you will have to depend upon Shastra. What is written in Shastra, the, according to the advice of Shastra, you will have to do. The Bhagavan directly speaking. Arjun, tasmat sastra pamanante, tasmat sastra pamanante karja karjo Some group fighting among themselves. Then how solution? If they depend upon one sadhu, they can hear everything. And after that, giving can give instruction. This with this in favor of Shastra, this is the instruction. You have to do. So Tasma Sastra Pamanante Karja Karja. So you will have to depend upon Shastra. No other way. That also authentic Shastra. Not that ah, you can consult anything. Authentic Shastra, which has link with the eternity. Not that I have this Shastra Maharaj. You can follow Quran. That is your privilege. But I think you cannot get extreme advantage. You can have not going to insult. You can consult. But you cannot get final advice. You can follow Bible. But Bible, ultimately what you can get? You read Bible. I also gone through Bible. When a small boy. What is the final outcome? No final outcome. Shadananda Swami... He was puzzled. So great man, so learned, doctorate, research fellow. And after, after that doctorate done, comparative religious study, he was in puzzling condition. I am not getting any satisfaction. Sometimes Buddha Dharma, sometimes this, that. Nowhere I am going to get any final cream. I am not getting satisfaction. Finally, what happened? One book, only one book, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, written by Nishikanta Sanyal, the great professor, who is the disciple of Prabhupada. He wrote one book. That book, Sadhanand Swami, he got in his hand. After reading the first page, introduction, after the first page, gone mad. Well, now I get the solution in my hand. Now, only introductory speech. I can show you, but it is in Bengali, not in English. Uh, it was written in English. I have English book also. Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Prabhupada appreciated him. Prabhupada, uh, Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Uh, English also available. English also available. Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Originally, it was written in English by Nishikanta Sanla. Prabhupada praising Nishi Babu, you have done a great seva which otherwise I was supposed to spend lakhs of rupees. Nishi Babu, you have done a great seva by writing, compiling this book. Ah, nice. Prabhupada blessing him. Prabhupada himself blessing him. Nishi Babu have done a great seva. Otherwise, I was ready to spend lakhs of rupees. He has done all, all problems solved. After having this book in hand, then Swadhananda Swami reading one book, one interactive speech and the first problem solved. All my problem of my whole life is solved now. All problem solved. Similarly, sometime we are meeting with such sadhu, exalted sadhu, we can find our solution of our life. Of course, if there is no false ego. After meeting, we say, no, our problem is solved. All questions are uh, solved in our life. That is a... So, Shastra Janitvat means one has to depend upon Guru Vaishnava to hear about Krishna or Sri Chaitanya, whatever. Otherwise, 
He cannot grow knowledge. Only by watching. What is this? Cannot understand. So first of all, more important, Gauranga deity, Gauranga Vigraha, more important is Gauravani. Gauravani is more and more important than Gaurav Vigraha. Because Gauragani is going to clarify. Otherwise, who can understand? So, Gauravani is more and more important than Gauru Vigra. Very, you will have to remember everything, all these points. So, Sastra Janitvat is the third sloka. So, by the help of Sastra, if you depend upon authentic Sastra, if you depend upon authentic sources, then and only then you have the possibility to reach a goal. Otherwise, not. So Sastra Janitsa. Fourth slok, fourth slok, strange. Fourth slok, eh? Tattu saman nayat. Tattu saman nayat. Tattu saman nayat, this slok. Only this. Can I know? Tattu saman nayat means? Tat, I can clarify, little bit. So though time cannot permit, I am fearing about time. So tat, tat mean, tat mean the thought. Tat mean that sad bastu. Tat mean when it is written any mantra anywhere, you can read whenever you open Om Tat Sat. You can find in Vedic scripture anywhere. Om Tat Sat. Om mean ekakhar brahma. I told. Om iti ekaksharam brahma baharan mam anusmaran ya prayati tayyana deham sayati paramam gatim. Bhagwan speaking in Gita. Om is ekakhar brahma. Complete Brahma in the form of Sabda, Om. So, Om Tat Sat means what is called Om, that is called Brahma, and that is called Tat. Tat means that Vastu, what I mean to say, Brahma Vastu, that is Om, Tat, and that is Sat. Om Tat Sat. Sat means eternally present. So, what is Brahma Vastu? Surely is eternally present. That is Sat. What is the definition of sat? What is the definition of sat? What is the definition of sat? Sat means eternally present. If some, if some object, if something not eternally present, I can never speak, it is sat. If you are not established in the acharan of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu completely, then I cannot say that you are sat, you are sadhu. Though it is a general rules in the society. He is speaking sadhu, he is speaking sadhu. But when he is completely established in the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then and only then he can be called as sadhu. Sadhu means eternally present. He is not going to die. His Baba is eternally present. All his thoughts, everything, eternally. So sadhu is not a matter of it. So, Om Tat Swat. So here, Tat tu, tat tu saman nayat. Tat mean, try to understand, don't lose your memory. Tat tu saman nayat. Sanskrit, tat mean that bastu. What I mean to say. That particular object of I mean to say. That Brahma bastu. Tat o. Tat, tat tu. Tu mean ba. Tat tu mean but. Know it for sure. Ah, that that object is directly or indirectly all oriented all over the infinite universe. Tattu samo anuat, samanvayat. Tattu definitely know it for sure that tattvastu has some harmony, eternal harmony, infinity world. But I cannot realize eternal harmony there. Yes. But you cannot, I cannot realize because of your disparity. Because of your disparity. Even big, big scientists and they could realize some creator must be there. We find some harmony, some rhythm. Even big, big, you know, scientists, philosophers, Galileo also told so many things. Leonardo da Vinci also told so many things. The past remark about that absolute truth, 
but completely they cannot realize. Can't, can't. One big philosopher from German, big philosopher from Germany, can't. Kant could realize so many things. Kant writing that when I, I fear very much, when I look at the sky night time, Kant writing, when I look at the sky night time, I fear very much. Because star and planet, all infinity. And I am thinking about my teeny existence. Kant speaking. The some creator must be there. When I look at the night sky, oh, all around, blackness, soft, twinkling, twinkling, little star all around, and big, big star, planet, everything. So who am I? This question coming inside me. That is called actually Atma Jigasa, but not in full pleasure. Because he was unable to get satsanga. Kant was the most, you know, suitable person. He could get, but by chance, he could not get the association of pure sa. But Sadhananda Swami, eternal prasad, but he is manifesting this kind of leela. This kind of leela. So Kant, thinking, whenever I am thinking about this creation, infinity, if I look at the sky, infinity, star and planet, I fear inside. When I'm thinking about my own existence, who am I? After that, Kant speaking, suppose by chance, due to Maya, I'm doing some ra rubbish thing. Kant speaking, suppose today, I make some very bad thing. I should not, I should not have done this. I have done. Then I don't know who from inside myself speaking, can't speaking. When I do some wrong thing, I should not have done it. I have done wrong thing. Surely it is very bad. After doing, I am thinking, what I have done? Why, why I have done? And somebody from inside going to speak, Hey, why you have done this? As if sometimes, can't speaking, I feel that somebody from inside speaking, Why you have done this wrong thing? Why? Sometimes somebody chiding me. I fear, I feel, clearly I can feel somebody chiding me. Hey, why you have done it? Why you have done it? Somebody chiding me. That is called vivek, consciousness. That's when Kant cannot realize it is actually Paramatma, super soul. Hello. So this way Kant told. So many scientists, many philosophers, if you... Uh, try to take information, they all realize there is some basic common point. To tat tu samanyat mean tat that that vastu, that eternal vastu, that eternal vastu which is eternally present, eternally present, that eternally present, that that vastu, that param vastu has some harmony with the whole in infinity. There is some harmony, definitely, some rhythm going on. NASA finally was bound to confess this creation came from a low mound of sound, music. It is just matching with the, with the Vedic culture. Bhagavan Bhangshiddhani, that is, life is very short. Brahma Sangeeta, if you hear, I already explained Brahma Sangeeta. You can find that Brahma getting Gayatri and it is written Badayantam Mukham Buje Mayam Benum. It is written in Brahma Sangita. Brahma directly saw. Shabda Brahma Mayam Benum Badayantam Mukham Buje. Krishna playing. And there's sweet sound going on and after that the occasion took place. They saying, first of all they told uh, that in Glaxi way, some mass was there, so somehow uh, by getting some energy, uh, mass deformation, first of all, 50 years, 60 years back, that was the conclusion. In the Glaxi way, so there was some mass, uh, mass get, uh, got, got agitated after this question. After that, other scientists, those who are very intelligent, they, 
they are get agitated some mass there some mass get agitated in the space but when for where from that agitation when energy where from they got what is the source of that energy you get the agitated agitated how some energy need na for so where from that energy they cannot give it reply then again they make research after the final follow this way so tattu samanayat tattu samanayat definitely know it for sure that tat vastu has some big harmony in absolute harmony with each and every even big big sadhu big big sadhu the realize soul they are thinking nothing in this world separate has some link with you he she all object has some link but it is unknown to us and some unknown link unknown link every all interrelated has some harmony has some design has some purpose strange thing really so everything nothing useless it seems is useless as some reason if there is some thief we need police man if there is no thief no need of police man if there is no police man no thief no need of any court and and everything nothing no need of judge no need of so all interrelated this is interrelated but we cannot discover some secret link all oh, each and every we have some harmony to discover their harmony is called bhajan to discover their harmony so bhajan so i can explain tomorrow also tattu samanayat that whole world whole creation prakrit prakrit and aprakrit both everywhere has some harmony krishna is playing and we are all player cooperating with krishna knowingly unknowingly we are going to give response to the playing of krishna universal playing there is one universal playing krishna playing and we are play when well, i cannot play it can also happen you will have to play you will have to play the role of criminal you will have to play the role of policeman you have to play the role of artist you will have to do. you are bound according to your previous sanskar all harmony this way so we will have to discover this form tattu samanaya samo anya directly indirectly everything has some link with krishna krishna does it yesterday i was think i was speaking i can discuss this point tomorrow also vast point somebody is speaking why krishna is interested to for play why krishna is busy with sporting mood what is the answer i already told krishna like to play krishna is actually uh, itself complete krishna himself is complete he not depend upon anyone from the first shloka of bhagavatam i told already but still krishna having some sporting mood he like to play new new devotee can come new new devotee can come new new devotee krishna like to play why a player playing he like to get enjoyment out of that a supreme desire he like to play no dissatisfaction is there inside krishna what to speak about krishna no dis no dissatisfaction you can find inside the heart of a pure devotee what to speak about krishna <laughs> i am not speaking i am not going up to that far what to speak about the supreme law even you cannot find any dissatisfaction inside the heart of pure devotee always they are satisfied happy why they cannot say always happy that is the reason and krishna playing and uh, i can, and somebody can put question you are foolish you cannot put question in front of me because to put question you need some idea so you are not asking bhagwan is playing with his sarup shakti sarup shakti what do you mean by sarup shakti sarup shakti mean internal potency the bhagwan itself happy so why he like to play with devotees 
He himself is there. Saraswati there. Saraswati always giving enjoyment. So Bhagavan is feeling why he is going to. There is some answer. What is that answer? Bhagavan, Saraswati is there inside him. No problem. But still, Bhagavan likes to play with or devotee, new, new devotees. After giving, after giving Saraswati, hey, you get bhakti. You get bhakti. Which way? Uh, you can get bhakti from Bhakti Pumaturi Goswami, you can get bhakti from Siddhar Goswami, you can get uh, all you come, we can play. Mane Bhagavan, you try to understand, with cool brain, Bhagavan going to distribute bhakti, sarup shakti, to all bonded souls. Those who are lucky, they are getting, those who are not lucky, not getting. Brahmando Bharmita Kono Bhagavan Jeev, Guru Krishna Prasadeva Bhakti Lama. Bhagavan likes to distribute. At the same time, when getting bhakti, you are getting bhakti. Suppose you are getting bhakti. After that, you are doing serving Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagavan. Then Bhagavan becomes satisfied. So, first of all, Bhagavan arranged bhakti to come in your life by satsanga. When you are growing bhakti, maturity, you like to do seva. Seva, nice seva. Then Bhagavan becomes very happy. Oh, he is doing my seva. This example, I can speak to you, one example I can give. Suppose, air is there, everywhere. This space is full of air. Nothing new. But when one player of Bangsi taking the fruits, fluids in hand, and that same air, when you're going to push through that hole and playing hands accordingly to, uh, to make it sweet, then that's that that air coming through a special hole and taking a nice form of sound. Same ear is there, no speciality. Same ear when one player playing Bangsi, same ear pushing through the lip inside, and when coming out is very tasty, very similarly, Bhagavan having Sarupsakti. But when the Sarupsakti is coming through devotee and Bhagavan enjoying. Follow, you see. Like one mother, she is going to give birth, baby is there inside, and she is feeling very happy. Okay. But she is feeling happy. But when the baby is taking birth, when in lab, then more and more enjoyment. Now also, mother thinking baby is there. But more and more and more enjoyment can get when the baby playing in the lab. Directly, when baby playing in the lab, more and more enjoy. Similarly, though Bhagavan is already satisfied, Bhagavan itself, himself complete, need not wait on, but still, Sarupsakti is their personal property. Sarupsakti is their bhakti. But still, Sarupsakti, Bhagavan likes to distribute. After that distribution, they like to give inspiration. Come, come, I can play with you. That is why Bhagavan manifesting infinity Leela. So, Leela all over the world. Different, sometime coming in the form of Nishingadev, sometime Ramchandra, Baraho, Kuruma, Krishna, uh, Gauranga. But we are not giving response. Bhagavan coming to help us in the form of, in the form of Sadhu Guru Vaishnava, Sastra, but we are bad luck. We really need bad luck. We cannot catch. Bhagavan trying his best. So that he can give something concrete. What you are busy with some toy. People are busy with toy, building, property, this and all. Toy. Ultimately, what is the utility of this thing? So, sim, uh, this sloka I speak. What I for? One I say, uh, one I say, one I first of all I say, first of all, Athato Brahma Jigasa. Second I say, Janmadasya Yato. Third, I say, Shastro Yanitvat. Char, four, number four, I say, Tattu Samanayat. And tomorrow, I can speak the fifth. And after that, I cannot discuss more. I can, because that is background. Now you are, because Vedanta is one kind of headache. Oh, Vedanta, oh, impossible. So, first of all, I am going to make the background. So that you can feel sweet. If you go on discussing, you can feel headache. Vedantumin is a Vedantumin big headache. So, first of all, I like to make background. 
After that you can realize, tomorrow I can speak another slok, after that I can switch over to the subject matter. Sarva, follow. Yanmadasso yatu anmayadi taratas charthesu sabhikya saratu tene brahma hidayo adikavai mayyanti yat surayu tejo bhari midam jatha vini mayu tesaragaham misa dhanya seno sada nirasta kuhakam satyam param dhimahi vanchakalpadrosu. Kipasindhva vipati dhanang vahamu. 